Oops. Gonna make me a cherry cobra beer, man. So I'm doing eight songs for the album. That's cool. Working on the last two songs. Yeehaw. That'll do just nicely. It is International Women's Day. I didn't know it was. Then one of my trolls started to text me and be like, I'm talking all this shit. So I'm kind of like, hey, you know what? I've been getting drunk all day, so now I have an extra reason to feel good about it. So happy International Women's Day to all the badass chicks. I got some wicked sick fucking t-shirts. Cobra cult's all about female empowerment, dude. 1,000%. Let me just look up. I got two versions of it. <laughs> I'm releasing, trying to release three new shirts. If they don't release, that's cool. I got plenty of shirts to choose from. So I'm not tripping about it, to be honest. But I do appreciate Customized Girl for allowing me to, uh, Create the sweet merch that we got here. Yeah. Get the female empowerment shirts. This is the long sleeve version. Yeah. It says praise the, f the inner goddess. It says female empowerment, strong, sexy, and confident. And that's how women should feel. That's why you have the body positivity movement. Why it's for women only and not for men. Even though it's kind of sexist that, you know, the body positivity movement's not entirely for men. It's mostly for body conscious women when men feel conscious about their bodies too. And it's just like, you want to bitch about equality. Well, I'm not going to go down that route, you two, because, yeah. <clears throat> Now, here's the thing of it. I'm going to post this link in the chat, in the comment section. And you can order whatever goddamn color you like. It offers a bunch of different choices. And I appreciate you know, tuning in to the channel. Once I've gone damn found out it was done, Fucking Women's International Day. I proceeded to get drunk a little bit faster. So I'm hanging with homies, having some drink, just doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of you are going to be like, why would you pick a Cobra for? Your female empowerment shirts. And cheekily I say. Well you ever encountered a pissed off female? I wouldn't want to encounter a pissed off cobra. As much as I love cobras.
Now you want to smell good for International Women's Day for the women in general? Check out Tactical Soap. That shit works. Being a Tactical Soap gentleman is smooth. Oh yeah. I would call this a successful wand delivery mission. I had some wands to deliver off camera. Locally, as a matter of fact. That's just how I feel. So if you want like the long sleeved version of it, yeah. Yes, because Cobra Cult totally supports female empowerment, man. Because women are just as tough as men, but they get away with shit that men can't, and vice versa. And that's why the opposite sexes get pissed off at each other. But I didn't say that out loud, no. The shirt's pink, and it's got purple writing, and it's got, do you know what I'm saying? The Cobra Graham symbol, which is a hooded cobra from behind kind of thing. People who think otherwise are just, they got dick on the mind, I guess. I don't know. But here's the thing of it. This is a legitimate shirt, because Cobra Cult supports empowerment. Empowerment of our minds, God damn it. And that our minds are not restricted by gender just because you want to empower your mind and study witchcraft. Some people some people have it, some people don't. Some people are more gifted with it, some people aren't. That's not necessarily a bad thing. People are good at their own thing, you know what I'm saying? Mine just happens to be music and establishing a cult of musician slash magicians kind of thing. Look, it hasn't been done before, but that's what. There's so many points where they fucked up when they did that shit. Like. I deal with so much hate on social media. And if you really want to hate on me, that's your choice. But I'm going to offer you a product that is freaking sweet. Not only does it support Cobra Cult, but it also supports female empowerment. And I got a lot of badass shirts on Customized Girl. I started layering vocals for song number seven. They got an idea for song number eight. And if I might add more songs, I might not. You know what I'm saying? This is my album. I'll do what the fuck I want with it. People don't like it, I don't care. People like it, cool. 
a lot of the people are picky about alternative sounds. I'm trying to mix Cradle of Filth, Ozzy Osbourne, and Hammerfall into one sound. Fucking people are like either gonna like it or they're gonna hate it. Like, oh, okay, I see what he's doing. Yeah. But it is International Women's Day, and I want to extend a goblet of potion to all the sexy and ladies out there. Happy International Women's Day. Celebrate your gender. Celebrate it. Whether you're trans or cisgender, it does not matter. As long as you're not creeping on kids are doing sick disgusting shit who gives a shit dude if you got some dude who chops his dick off and wants to call himself a female it might be a little weird but who are you to judge as long as they ain't doing some nasty ass shit you know what i'm saying the fucking ridiculous Because Cobra Cult supports empowerment of the genders. YouTube. It's the truth. We're not restricted by what gender we are, but rather how strong our magical training is and how strong our power levels are. I do offer the same shirt and a uh, sleeveless tank top. For like when you're feeling the mood to wear a sleeveless shirt. But I feel like it's not the appropriate time to post it just because some people might look at that and go, oh, that's sexual because it has no sleeves. And I'm like, dude, stop making everything sexual. Just fucking stop. Some things just don't need to be like that, you know? Like, <laughs> God damn it, I don't want to have this conversation, so I just take a sip and fucking move on. When you get a society that puts too much pressure on people to have sex and then they sexualize everything as hard as they can legally within the boundaries, like this show is PG, how you know what I'm saying, kind of thing. It's, uh, it's just like, eh. I made a shirt that says, Our society is suffering. A mental breakdown, enjoy the ride, winky face, and on the back it says, fuck our society. Look, and that's just your interpretation of it, dude. But that's honestly how I kind of feel sometimes, because you got people in the Ukraine who are suffering from Russian attack, and you're more obsessed about your fucking pronouns, like... Where you identify as a sparkly unicorn dragon and someone didn't properly identify you. People have the right to pronouns, but at the same time, dude, it could be worse. I don't got any beef with Russia or Ukraine. But when I see this kind of crap unfold, it makes me sad. Because I'm like, the world doesn't have to be so icky all the time. I mean, I'm goth, and I can appreciate a little bit of negativity for some backbone. But too much negativity, it's just like... Uh... 
So I made a fuck communism t-shirt and a marriage t-shirt on top of the shirt that I just goddamn listed right here. Yeah. <clears throat> and customized girl may approve them, they may not. If they don't, it's cool. I got plenty of sick merch right there. Yeah, that is some good looking merch. Hey Murph, yeah? That's some good looking merch. Yeah, that's a fucking fire merch, dude. Like, goddamn, fuck yeah. As some of you may be going, what the fuck does the uh, wedding marriage joke t shirt do? It's got an obnoxiously exaggerated diamond ring on the front, and it says, Every kiss begins with kiss my Asperger's. And the back has a ball and chain with a coffin, and it says, Weddings are just funerals with cakes. I mean, it's a little dark, but I thought it was funny as fuck when I created it. I'm like, yes. <laughs> That's not going to help my case, but people can honestly fuck off. I'm a decent person, and I hate sickos. And if people got a problem with that to the point where they're going to indoctrinate videos and photos and what have you just to make it otherwise. It just makes them look like sickos and it just makes them look sad and desperate like oh Cobra is living the life I wish I could live. God damn it. <laughs> ah. It's a it's a cheeky little pun on K-Swiss Jewelers, yes. But at the same time, if you can't appreciate a good joke, you're not living life. Like, people who can't laugh at farts. Kind of thing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I made the font that said the funny... The funnies, the dark humor shirt that I made here. I made it in like fancy cursive. Because, you know, people are going to get offended by this shirt. They really are. Because they, they're like, that's, that's just too true. You got a ball and chain next to a coffin. And right underneath it, it says, Weddings are just funerals with cakes. That's just <laughs> YouTube. In the front of it says, every kiss begins with kiss my Asperger's. It's not even about getting laid. It's just about having a sense of humor. You know, if you if you want to sit there and say, Cobra needs to get laid, you're a part of the goddamn problem. I would rather laugh about my dry spell because there are people out there who struggle with their marriage. So, you know, it could be worse. Honestly, YouTube, if you can't learn to laugh at life's stupid shit, then you're not living life. So, yes, the design is overly exaggerated because that's, yeah, it's just, it's good fun, YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shirt's a little dark to some degree, but it's not, like, terrible, you know what I'm saying? It's just cheeky fun. If you can't laugh at it, then you're not living life. Because it's funny. You're making fun of marriage and, you know what I'm saying? I would rather be in a consenting of age and everything, a relationship, cisgendered, alive, and of age, and STI-free kind of thing, non-related. Which all of this was automatically implied, but there were some real creepy assholes out there who were trying to make shit legal and... Don't say Cobra didn't warn you. Fuck these sick fucking nasty ass fucks, dude. I'm over this shit. Like, you want to get offended by my fucking wedding ring t-shirt? But, like, here's some, you know what I'm saying? Don't even get me fucking started, YouTube.
You think fighting sexism and racism with more sexism and racism is going to work? And that's the question I really want to ask. And if I can't laugh at my dry spell, like, I don't give a shit when I get laid. I'll make shirts about it just to entertain the fans, dude. That's why, you know what I'm saying? Like, the every kiss begins with kiss my Asperger's is seriously fucking funny. And getting married is just like putting on a ball and chain. But it doesn't have to be if you find the right person. And people are in such a goddamn rush to get laid and get married. So this shirt's fucking hilarious. Because it just paints a little diamond-esque picture of how shit really plays out. And then, then, and then here's the best part of it. Men might get more money from women. But women can screw men over in divorce court whether it's correct or not. So that's just kind of one of those things where it's like, hey, you know, Cobra's not trying to be a dick. I respect women. People are going to watch this video and be like, oh, my God, Cobra is this and that. Can you believe it? And it's just like, hey, shut the fuck up, you stupid wanker. I'm creating original, somewhat original, I will say, because the graphics are approved by Customized Girl before they are listed on my store so that the trolls can't be like, oh, I'm going to flag Cobra's store because this shit, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't work because the graphics I use for my shirts are approved. I'm four steps ahead of these fucking obsessed losers. And it's just quite sad, to be honest. I can shred guitar, I'm somewhat of a YouTube celebrity, so I'm not tripping out about when I get some of that sweet of age, alive, cisgendered, non-related nookie. It ain't worth stressing about, dude. There are more stressing issues in the world. So whenever I see these chicks who are whining because they haven't been laid, and you see all these BuzzFeed articles, all these goddamn BuzzFeed articles about why she can't find a good man. It's just like any dude bitching about because he can't get no pussy. And yet when us men bitch about it, we're the fucking pigs. I'm just like, okay, you know what? We try to sympathize with you, we get called a simp. We treat you like shit. That doesn't necessarily get any favors either, nor should it. If you're the kind of asshole who treats women like shit, go fuck yourself, dude. Like, straight up, you can take a 12-gauge to your goddamn nuts and just pull the trigger. You want to treat women like shit. You'd fucking sit there and soon complain because some cunt stole your heart, but you have no problems being equally as shitty to women who don't even know you like that, dude. Fucking gender relations just... <sighs> yeah, it's March. Started layering vocals on my next song for the album. Yeah, just chilling out, having some drink, reflecting upon the world's issues and being like... Unless people ask me about it, then it's really none of my business kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Because everyone's got opinions doesn't mean they're all right. But having it saying gold font against a black shirt, every kiss begins with kiss my Asperger's. I can make fun of my dry spell. I can make fun of K-Swiss jewelers. And not in a mean way. This is just me having a chuckle because that's what women like, right? They like jewelry. So this is what's funny about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
People take their lack of sex in their life way too goddamn seriously. And it's like, dude, stop. There are people out there who have been married for 35, 40 goddamn years, and the dude ain't gonna get his dick hard, much as he try, and the chick ain't gonna get no dick, and they still make it work. That's what true love's all about, YouTube. If you got a problem with that, kiss my Asperger's. It's about finding someone to grow old with. It's not about finding someone you can fuck for the rest of your life. And then our society wants to say, quit throwing sex into everything while they shove it in our face 24-7. It's just like, bruh. And if anybody hears this rant, all they hear is King Cobra needs to get laid. And it's like, it's not a need, it's a want. Because calling it a need is why we have assholes like Elliot Rogers. Fuck that fucking cunt. Putting way too much pressure on men to have sex and way too much pressure on women to get married and see what fucking happens. It's ridiculous. YouTube, it is goddamn ridiculous. So you're going to be like, okay, I'm offended by Cobra and what he said because it went too far. And I'm like, wasn't trying to offend, just trying to alert you to the truth. The society fucks with both sides for the most part just because I don't know, keeps things interesting, keeps things shaken, but it doesn't do any favors. God damn you two. That drink combo is kicking. People just need to learn how to, to think like the stupid shit that comes out of their mouth if it were gender or racial reversed. Don't even, no, I'm just, it gets to, to the point where I'm just like, I want to focus on making music and making wands. I don't need this bullshit in my life. Like, ugh, dude. <clears throat> I tell you what, that uh, Admiral Nelson cherry spiced rum mixed with the Bud Light is a swinging. Swing! That's a that's some good shit, YouTube. But well, I don't need I just think our society is suffering a mental breakdown and I myself am never gonna change. But I can't say the same for everybody else.